Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to model this uh, mesh fence. Okay, so um, usually when we look at this, um, we will think about uh, um, railing. But today uh, I'm going to show you how to use curtain wall to model it. Okay, so let's start. So first, create a project. So I'm going to uh, model a wall, a storefront. Okay, so let's go to 3D view. So I'll change the height to one meter height. Oops. Okay, so let's. So first, um, first we are going to create some uh, panels, curtain panels, and uh, modems for these. Okay, so the first one, the panel. So tap select this panels which is system panel glazed edit type duplicate i'll call it mesh panel uh yeah and okay so i'll change the offset to zero material uh, i'll change the thickness to maybe five and material let's go find a material so go to material browser and create create new material I'll rename it, I'll call it mesh, maybe steel mesh, mesh, and uh, um, go to appearance, click on this replace asset, 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 <laughs> yeah, and then under appearance library, under metal, and you will find uh, uh, maybe just search mesh okay and you will see all these materials so we just need to pick the one um hang on let me just double, you can you can click on this one or just double click on this material and then here so you can drag this to make it bigger so you can see um, even change the um, yeah it's it's quite hard to see the yeah it's too small um maybe we can tell from here so if you see this cut out and the relief so you can see this shape you can roughly get the idea of uh, what the the shape of, of the mesh is the cutout is so it's just double click so you can see all this this might be a hexagon or something. Like that. So yeah, just uh, double click and see. I think we are we will need this one, right? Yeah. So now uh, click OK and OK, and then let's turn this to realistic and have a look. Yeah. Uh, looks like they uh, it's too small. It's too small. So here we probably. Um, let's have a look at the material. Okay, so go ed edit type, edit type, <coughs> and click on this material, and uh, go to appearance, and click on this image, and you will see. So this is 6.34 millimeter from here to here. Um, from my guessing, uh, I think you can try 30 okay so down and also make sure you, you change this the cutout as well so to match that bump relief back pattern okay so and okay and okay and now let's have a look again yep that's better so i think that's that should be good enough so now let's just change it to hidden line hl and now let's do let's create uh, the mullions okay for all the way all the top rail all these are uh, straight so i guess it, these are probably 40 by 40 i guess so we're going to select one of the mullion on ping edit type duplicate so first i'm going to create a 30 by 30 okay and okay and 30 oh sorry 40 40 by 40 sorry uh, 
so 40 so here I'll just type in 20 and 20 make it 40 and uh, I'll just keep I'll just leave the material I mean just leave it for now okay and now we have a 40 by 41 so now let's go back here and I guess this one probably 20 by 20 by 40 okay so let's go back create another one so select this one and edit type duplicate again so this one I'll call it 40 by 20 and uh, um, uh, I'm not sure which one's 40, which one's 20. Right, let's try this one. 20. Okay. Yeah. So I think that's it. So 40 uh, this direction and then 20 thickness. Okay. So now uh, we are going to create a curtain wall. So which include this edge um, of 40 by 20 edge and the mesh panel so that become a curtain wall okay so now i'm going to select this uh, curtain wall cs create similar and edit type and duplicate so now i'll call it mesh mesh panel uh, maybe i'll call it single mesh panel so it's clear and okay and uh, here panel panel curtain panel i'll change it to the system panel which we created before so mesh panel right and uh, for the layout uh, because the single single panel so now and now for both vertical and horizontal grid and also for the internal types of the mullion now horizontal internal now and for the uh, um, border so we will choose use the 40 by 20 okay 40 by 20 40 by 20 and 40 by 20 so okay so if i if i draw it so you will see so this is a single panel yeah so now we are going to create a, another uh, curtain wall which use this this curtain wall as a panel okay so let's do it so select this one cs create similar edit type duplicate this time i will call it mesh uh, mesh 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 panel um, mesh panel curtain wall maybe okay and uh, curtain panel here on the curtain panel here so I'm going to use the curtain wall single mesh panel okay so and uh, for vertical maximum spacing maybe 1200 horizontal uh, I'm not going to I'll just use now because I'm not going to use multiple I uh, have multiple panels and for vertical mullion, um, I'll use the 40 by 40. And for the border vertical, 40 by 40 as well. And all for the um, horizontal, 40 by 40. And of course, border for uh, if you want to change the change the size, maybe if you want to change the size for the top rail, maybe uh, use different size. So you can just change it here. You can create a new. Uh, Mullion size, but here I'm just going to use the same 40 by 40. Okay, and now if I draw a good one here, so now you will see this is um, a curtain wall which use another curtain wall as a curtain panel. Okay, so um, maybe maybe you don't want to break that horizontal horizontal uh, railing or the mullion so what you can do is select this curtain wall edit type and change this join condition to um, maybe border and horizontal grid okay and okay so yeah so now if I change, let's try try the realistic so you will see that's the mesh panel. 
<coughs> and all. Okay, so yeah, um, the only thing um, not quite, um, you know, so this method is quite uh, limited to having, so you can't have that uh, um, the post, you know, the, the fixing all this little bit because you if you so for example if you uh, select this curtain wall so this one's currently from ground floor level uh, zero to maybe I'll change it to ground floor with offset one meter which is the same but if I lift this 100 so you won't have the leg there but uh, you can you can still you can still manually manually um, so add so for example if you can add a, a grid there here so for example add a grid at 100 millimeter above the above the um, ground floor and uh, you can you can delete the mullion so the top the bottom mullion delete oops. So it a little bit manual work, yeah. So and also select this, select this. This is a curtain warp wall, which is the same as this one. So we just need to select select it and change it to an empty panel. So apparently we don't have the empty panel here. So we just go, need to go insert load family. Um, empty panel and then select this curtain wall again so this one curtain wall so it's a curtain wall as a curtain panel okay so then you can select this empty panel so now we have an empty so there's a line there but uh, actually that's nothing if you if you do a render or anything so select let's just to finish this okay so on ping and change change them to empty panel. So you can yeah, with a little bit menu menu uh, um, helm. Maybe here I want to um, let me look. Yeah, so you can uh, you can just break this by just click on this. It's more yeah, it looks better if if, if I break this. Uh, horizontal one okay so yeah a little bit manual work um, I think it's good it's quite uh, good and easy so of course you can model a railing but um, that's more um, I, I don't to be honest I don't I hate railing I just hate railing uh, it's, it's it's never work it's it's always like break all the, all the time so that's why I try not using railing at all so um, Yep, so this is the method. Oh, let me just try to um, maybe change the size. Yeah, so all good. So you just change if you change your size. Then, yeah, so let's try a realistic view. Yep, so what do you think? Let let me just create another one, okay? So if I create another one, yeah. So still, if you if you want to have this like post like a railing, so you need to manually. I'll just show you again. So add a grid at at for example 100 millimeter, and then just need to delete the mullion and uh, delete the or not delete. You can't delete pad panel. You can only change it to an uh, empty panel. So a little bit manual work, okay. So pumping empty panel. So yeah, for this maybe just okay. So that's all. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll up. So this is very simple. Uh, curtain wall. Maybe I'll, I'll just upload this family. Oh, not not family. So curtain wall, and you can have a look. So, okay, so that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.